Okay, so today um, I, I really wanted to make a video on basically just brewing decks. So um, I know uh, a lot of people like to brew, but they like they usually give up after it doesn't work out. And you know, I kind of want to make uh, make a video where it just shows you how to basically completely uh, flesh out your deck so that it's actually good instead of just being based around one card which is usually what ends up happening when you brew so um for instance so let's go to the um battle for zendikar um, spoiler here and we'll just peruse see if we can find anything that's uh, brewable so actually that's easier than So, um, you know, there's lots of cool cards you can brew around. Um, and the problem is, when you start brewing, you base everything around that card, which is not necessarily bad as a start, um, but then once you're finished doing that, it just looks bad. And it is bad. <laughs> um, and the reason is because you don't try and expand out from that original um, brewing idea. So, so we're going to just pick a card to brew with. I uh, have not picked one beforehand. So um, uh, let's see here. That's a fun one to brew around. Um, let's see. Don't really want to make a tide color deck because that's probably going to end up just being a bunch of awake and stuff. But it might it might be fun. We'll see. Um, let's see here. That's a fun one. Uh, that's super interesting. Yet. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take you through the entire process just uh, just so you kind of get a base to work off of. But um, you can pick whatever card you want. I'm just going to pick one that I like. Um, let's go with file aggregate. Why not? So uh, obviously we're gonna have a lot of colorless creatures um, we're gonna pump it as much as possible you know shouldn't be hard, hard to brew around so let's uh, what I usually do is just paste it into a word file here okay so we have one of those and so now uh, what we want to do is find anything that will work for it. You kind of have to think outside the box a bit after you do the first run through, but for now, let's just find colorless creatures. So let's just make nine colorless creatures. Um, so let's go through here. Actually, let's just uh, let's use scatter. So I'll show you guys how to use the advanced search. So what you want to do is um, click on the advanced tab, go to um, colors, colorless, there we go, add, and somewhere around here is no, standard. Add that, and you want a creature too, so make a creature. And that should be good. Okay, so now we want to find things that, you know, um, Maybe they're not the best in other decks, or um, maybe they're really good in other decks, you don't know. Um, but more often than not, you'll find there's lots of cards that are that seem okay, but just aren't, bar like, barely aren't standard playable in other decks. But in this deck, they might be amazing. So, so what we're looking for is uh, colorless creature type things. So, 
Um, another card that I know of also is, um, for colorless creatures, is uh, Ghost Fire Blade, which I, I wanted to um, brew around for a while, so let's, let's put that in, obviously. There's going to be lots of colorless stuff, so mine as well. That. Dude, let's put the color with some creatures. Now, granted, this isn't going to be the most interesting deck because it's just going to be aggro y, but it'll show proof of concept just, you know, what we want to do for most decks. So, let's go down the list here. So, um,. Granted that we're running red, and we have a pretty low uh, cost card here, and you probably want to make this uh, fairly aggressive, maybe not super aggressive, but fairly aggressive, um, just because this isn't really a value card, it's more of a, um, a beatdown kind of card, so... And same with Ghost Fire Blade. It's like you don't get value; you just attack a lot. So, um, so we probably don't want this, um, even though it's good. Uh, it's a seven drop, and it doesn't really fit into our theme. We could make a ramp version, but then you're going to end up having conflict between ramping and like attacking. So you, you kind of want to focus on one way to win, and that's usually aggro mid range control or ramp. So those, those are the four kind of orc combo, so you can like five different types of decks. But So we're going to focus on just mid-range, I think. So let's see, this is probably okay, but five mana plus another three to sacrifice, that's, co that's quite a bit of mana and we're kind of looking for something fast, so maybe not that guy. Um, Let's see, we got Benthic Infiltrator, so 1-4 in Jest, can't be blocked. This could be pretty good with Ghost Fire Blade, I think, so let, let's, uh, let's put that in the possibilities, I think, that'd be kind of cool. Plus, in Jest, um, is a common theme in these two uh, cards, so, you know, maybe we'll end up working off of that, too. Um, So this is what you kind of want to do. You kind of want to just keep expanding off of what your original list was. And eventually you'll build something that looks like a deck. Okay, so uh, that seems good. Um, White Herder is uh, pretty good value if we can get the two cards from XL, so maybe. We'll put it under a different category. We'll put it under, um, let's say, um, ingest slash um, exile slash um, processor or something like that. So, you know, we don't want to get off track, but we also want to kind of explore the possibilities. So, put that in a different section. Um, that might be good depending on where we go. So that'd be kind of cool. Maybe we have like an exile theme going on and uh, you know, this guy gets a lot of value plus um, White Herder is going to pump for one, two, three, four. So, you know, it's going to pump this guy up to be a five, five instantly, which is pretty awesome. Um, maybe if we can find some more ingest cards, we can trigger that guy and uh, who knows, we'll see. Uh, Blister Pod, that card is awesome also. Um, it's a 1-1 one, one for one colorless creature that makes another colorless creature. So I mean that's going to be really strong with our uh, Ghost Fire Blade. It's going to be resilient, um, so you can play that on turn one, play Ghost Fire Blade on turn two, equip it, and then when it dies just do it again, so you have like 3-3, three, 3-3, three, 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 just unstoppable horde of dudes, so yeah, that seems pretty good. Let's do that. 
And we want a lot of uh, cheaper creatures because we want to pump up the vile aggregate quick too. So let's put that in here. So you've noticed we have like three colors going on. We have uh, Temer right now. Um, I would say for the speed of deck, we probably should stick to just three colors. Um, but you never know. The new standard is going to be kind of crazy. So, uh, Bonded Construct isn't terrible, but there might be better options. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, stick him in. He's a 2 1 for 1. So, I mean, he's quick. Maybe you want to make an aggro version of this deck. In fact, let's just. Let's put him in a separate section here. Called aggro. You know, just because he doesn't get all that much value alone, whereas Blister Pod kind of like. I could see getting more value out of it in a later game with the Ghost Fire Blades, so. Um, you know, it's it's like almost it's a threat with the Ghost Fire Blade. If you have a bonded construct and a Ghost Fire Blade, and that's it, it's not going to do anything. So it's probably more of an aggro card if you want to go that route. So as you know, there's lots of cards in here that are going to actually be decent. Um, this no, it's too high drop. This is just oh yeah, it's M15 anyways. Um, I don't know why M15 is still in here. Uh, Brood Butcher, so this guy is also uh, colorless, um, puts one colorless guy out, so he, he boosts the Vile Aggregate for two, um, kind of slow, like, at five, plus another two to sacrifice, that's seven, not really what we want to do, but maybe okay, like a slower version of this deck. Might want him, but uh, uh, brood monitor. I, yeah, I, I don't know. I think we're going more for a uh, a quicker kind of uh, synergistic deck with some good top end stuff. Um, yeah, Ghost Fire Blade is going to be something that's great with something like this because it's just you know. Ghost Fire Blade, you want to get out quick, you want to attack. It's like aggro, but maybe just a little bit more uh, explosive, I guess. Uh, Catacomb Sifter is pretty awesome. I like this card a lot. Um, gives you a lot of value, and it's going to pump the Viagra it for two, etc. I like it, but... Um, it's not Temer, but, you know, we might end up switching colors. We'll see. So let's put that in there. Alright, let's see. Chief of the Foundry. So, this is where we kind of end up, uh... Wondering if we should split off into artifacts. So, we'll make a separate, separate artifacts section. Um, some of these... Some of these, uh types will overlap, but um, for instance, uh, aggro and artifacts might overlap, might have both, um, ingest and artifacts might not really work well together, just because most of the ingest stuff is uh, colorless but not artifacts, so um, currently mm, that guy doesn't do too much right now, so um, Probably not. Conduit of Ruin. Uh, yeah, just too slow. Um, too slow. Let's see. Devoid. Two, two, no, it's just a 2-2 two, two for 2. That's not good enough. Defenders. We don't want Defenders. Vigilance. Let's see. Mm, too slow again. Too slow. When it enters the battlefield, it's all right, but it just doesn't do anything after it comes out, so it's not great. So probably not. Unless you wanted to do an aggro kind of version, then maybe. Well, let's, let's put them in the aggro section then. Stick them over here. 
this is how you have to do it. So you can't just brew one deck and then, you know, figure whatever deck you're going to brew is going to be the best. Um, you got to kind of branch out and see, oh, well, maybe this version of the deck is going to be better than this version. And I'm just going to explore all the options and then pick from the options, which is pretty good. But also, it's going to take a lot uh, to narrow it down. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see. All right, so we got Drowner of Hope. Uh, gives you two guys. Again, probably too slow. Dust Stalker. So this guy's pretty cool. Um, kind of just aggro-y, though. So maybe we put him in the aggro section. Um, but he does seem okay with this. Uh, yeah, we'll just put him in the normal section, though. We'll see. Seems okay. Doesn't seem like amazing, but seems okay. So we got this guy, he's too slow. We got this guy who is maybe decent. I mean, he's fine. He's uh, gonna make another dude, which will be good with the. Which will be good with the aggregate. Which will be good with the um, ghost fire blade, etc. So, yeah, maybe place that right there. Sky is uh, Endless one. I don't really like this card all that much. It's just a vanilla guy. I mean, maybe maybe it's just personal preference, but it's just not... It's not a fun card. It's just boring. Unless you have some kind of counter manipulation, it's just boring. So I'm just not going to put them in. Um... Plus he's expensive for some, or not really that expensive, but it's like three dollars right now. Uh, we got Eyeless Watcher, and not enough value probably. Fathom Feeder is awesome. Death Toucher, Tower of and Jess, so that we got another theme going on here. Um, the draw is kind of cool. So let's put him under here, and he's probably good in any, any deck. Um, the Ingest deck. Probably any of the decks want him. You know, he's going to be good in any of the variants. So we'll see. Forerunner of Slaughter. Uh, that's the aggro deck for sure. He's uh, definitely an aggro card, so we'll put him under that. He doesn't get a super amount of value, um, so I don't, I don't think I'm going to put him in the normal section. Um, I'm put him in the aggro section. It could be black red, like black red aggro colorless might be cool. You got this, this, um, this, and that, and maybe maybe even blue Grixis for the fathom feeder or something. I don't know, we'll see. So we got those. This guy is bad. No, I need some fifteen. Um. No, no, you don't want any like vanilla stuff. It's just not gonna be good. Hangerback Walker is obviously insane. This guy's cool. If you can afford him. If you can't, you know, whatever. Still make the deck without him. And if you really like the deck, maybe you want to add him in there. But he's obviously gonna be good, I mean, there's no doubt about it. He's gonna, you know pump out thopters that'll be flying, which will then, you know, give you the ability to equip ghost fire blades, the flying thopters, which is retarded. <laughs> so, Herald of Kozilek is also pretty cool. I kind of, mm, I, he's slower, but he might end up being good just because you can kind of, you know, play all your stuff like right after he comes out, so maybe he's good. We'll see. He's probably good in all the different types. So, we'll see. Kind of leaning more towards the processor and jester themes, because just because it'd be kind of fun. Um, and I know there's stuff that exiles besides besides those things, so maybe it'll be good. Ah, this guy's boring. boring. 
had though, I mean it's four, five, three for four. Oh, God, I keep, I don't know why it doesn't do shit. All right, whatever. <laughs> uh, Keeper of the Lens, not bad. I mean, he's basically like a bondage construct. I'll put him in the um, aggro bin over here. Basically just fodder for, um, I mean not fodder, but you know what I mean, for the ghost fire blade. It's not great, but we'll see. Too slow. There's more of our part. Uh, we got this guy, who is obviously very good. Um, you know, ghost fire blade is going to pump him. Uh, playing anything is going to pump him. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think he's good in most of the things. So let's put him in the normal section up here. Okay. Let's go back. Majoring responder, too slow and not very good. Um,. Mind Raker, 3-3 three, three for 4, just cards a card, it's not a powerful one, in fact it's not that great, um, this guy's perfect for the ingest deck, um, and might be good just in general, just because he has flying and he's colorless, so, um, kind of powerful, looking towards blue-red right now, but we'll see, um, yeah, not really, not really that powerful. Uh, Nettle Drone. Damage to an opponent. If this was a creature or a player, then I might consider it, but this isn't really great. It's just going to deal damage. Like, it might be okay in the aggro version. Let's put him in the aggro version. But for the kind of synergistic uh, beats version, it's it's not going to be great because he's just going to they're going to play expensive cards and then it's going to be like oh yay one tap and deal damage. You know maybe there's some potential for it in aggro where you can play a lot of things and deal a lot of damage with it. But you know playing three spells and dealing three damage, it's like that's not a huge effect. So not great. Oblivion Sower. Um, I like this card, kind of. Uh, it's rampy, but probably too slow again. Um, maybe not, because we if we do end up playing the um, the things that make the scions, then maybe. Uh, what, let's make another section. Let's make it four. Um, I'll just call it slow, or mid-range or something, because right now we're kind of in between mid-range and aggro, so we'll do mid-range, slash ramp, I guess, I'll stick in there, seems good. Plus, he does fuel ingest, or, uh, you know, the processors because he's gonna exile some stuff. So cool. Yep. It's not super exciting, but Okay, let's see, Oracle of Dust. Draw a card then discard a card. And still probably too expensive for the effect. So uh, not really great. These are both M15. No, seven drop. Softer, basic land. Uh, no, too slow. Iron Roller. Artifact deck. Something in there. Possibly. Just come in here. So let's see if we're almost through here. Ruin Processor. Game 5 life. Nah, this is not powerful enough. Ruination Guide. Okay, so this is another reason why we play colorless is because it, you know, 
pumps everything, so that's cool. Um, so let's uh, put that in there in the normal deck because it's probably going to be good in everything. Uh, we got see that guy, Servitor. Yeah, it's kind of boring. It's okay though. Um, salvage drone. When it dies, you draw a card. You do this card. That's a one drop, so it's nothing to laugh at, you know. And uh, the filtering is okay if it dies, you know. Maybe it gets some value. It's all right. Ghost Hard Blade will be good with it. Okay, Scion, no, Morning. Number 15, Silent Skimmer. Yeah, no, not very good. Sire Stagnation. Maybe in the Rampy ty type of deck. I don't like this card too much, but, um,. You know, I think it's overrated, just because they can just choose to not play a land and it's turn six, and they're, you know, they already have six mana, they probably don't need to play a land. But we'll put it in the mid-range ramp deck. Plus it's not really in the colors for ramp, so it's kind of awkward. Um, let's see. Regenerate if you control another colorless creature. Can't block. Uh, the, the fact that it can't block makes it kind of bad, but uh, I can't really think of a deck that this would be good in. Because it's too late for aggro, which is where you want to attack all the time. And it's too, it can't block, so you can't use it in mid-range, because in mid-range you're going to be playing defense and offense at the same time. So I, I don't think it's going to be good. Sledge Crawler. Again, one drop, whatever. <laughs> Might be good for playing black over blue or whatever. Uh, stick it over here. Maybe even in the aggro section. This guy's probably not. These probably can both go in the aggro section, actually. Let's cut those up in the aggro. I don't really like one drops and things that aren't aggro. Unless they're really good at. Really good at uh, one drops. I grow, I grow, I grow. Stick it there. Stick this one here. Alright, here we go. Sledge crawler. Okay. Smothering abomination. Cool. Um card advantage, kind of. You'd have to d like sacrifice a lot of little dudes. Um, it's flying, which is nothing to you know. Snort or whatever the same is. I can put them in. Uh, put them in the normal deck, I guess. Obviously, we're going into all different colors, so it's going to be, you know, we're going to have to narrow it down again. Um, that's out of, out of standard. Tide Drifter, other colors, creatures you control with plus zero, plus two, plus zero, plus one. Uh, that's okay. I like it. it. Makes your guys a little bit more resilient, which is cool. Not as good as Ruination Guide, probably, but it's not the worst option. The blocker. If we're doing the mid rangey kind of deck, you know, it's not bad. Ujin's Construct. Mm, it's actually not terrible. Because you're not going to have to sacrifice anything. Everything's going to be colorless, not most likely, but. Uh, I, don't, I just don't see the point of playing it, though. Just a 4 5 for 4. Um, yeah, no, not that. <laughs> Ten drops are too much. Uh, nah, that guy's just a big guy. Nullifier. 
I like this guy. Counters a spell, which is pretty strong. Um, in the ingest deck. Definitely. The other decks, maybe not. Use the flyer. Which makes uh, this fire blade pretty good. Oh, uh, let's see. This is too slow. This is just boring and not very good. I agree, we already got that. Void Attendant puts a card from their exile into a graveyard and you get a scion. Um, it's possible. It's possible that it'd be okay. You know. Who knows? Put it in the processor deck. Alright, keep going, keep going, keep going. When we're can't block with creatures and then I end up. Strangler. This guy's awesome in the uh, processor deck, so I'll put that in there. Yeah. Removal creature. Strong. Strong guard. If you can exile stuff. Yeah. Uh, six drop and six drop. And that's from M15. Okay, so we're done with all the colorless creatures, but now you have to brainstorm. Because there's lots of other things that are also colorless. There's artifacts. There are um, color colorless instants and sorceries now. Um, so let's go through the deck and just kind of look what we have so far, because this is going to be the meat of the deck, probably. Um, but we ne never know. We could go different directions. So, colorless creatures you control. So, th this is only going to work on, you know, tokens um, and colorless creatures. The um, artifacts and colorless creatures. So, um, that kind of limits us a little bit. But, you know, we can always play other things and then other things will combo with other things. And, you know, kind of goes, goes nuts. We'll see. Um, so right now, we just need to go find some more colorless, uh, creature stuff. I think we can find some more still. Save this. I'm actually going to end this one right now, and then you can go look at my next video, um, where we're going to do some more. So we're going to start looking at you know, copters and all that other stuff. The different uh, artifact uh, creature creators, things like that. So, I will see you later.